Amaya, Serenity, and Lynn Bites. <laughs> Forever too. We love you, baby. Mommy loves you. Though I'm missing you, Although I'm missing I'll find a way to get through. 24 hours a day, seven days a week, including holidays. I'm even asking myself, mm -hmm. I'm prayerful for it every day to give me something. You know, Creator, give me something to influence my people enough to stop this shift. Because we're not only dealing with the homicides, we're dealing with the high number of overdoses. We're dealing with the suicides. You know, and that was something that was never a part of our community. Now it is. It's here. Um, we're also seeing, you know, the baby deaths and the yep. abortions. So when you add all of those in, we have a serious problem that we really need to, to get it to heal. Helpful in getting his case off. Um, a friend asked him to pick up their friend and give him a ride to a vigil of another young man that was killed. And um, my son asked for some gas money. And he did, he went and picked up the the guy, but the guy was with uh, two other people as well. Um, and when they got to the vigil, the guy tried to rob my son. My son was a driver, it was his truck. Um, and most, like we're not those type of people, so he's never had a gun or any type of weapon pulled on him. He's not that type of a guy. He was he was a good boy. He was a real good boy. He just graduated. He was only eighteen, and he was well, he was a teddy bear. He's the gentle giant, and he got scared and tried to take off, and the boy. Um, shot him multiple times um, from the from behind, and his truck ended up crashing to a utility pole. So, so tell us what just happened. This lady just came up to us and complimented us because we're doing positive things. Uh, positive things for our neighborhood. Too, man. Make it neighborhood look nice. That's what they like to see. Young kids doing young things, you know. Doing great things. We're staying out the streets. Right. Positive stuff. To the community. Would you like to talk a little bit about, you know, being incarcerated and how you got there? Yeah, well, yeah, so, yeah, so, uh, again, my, 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 my drug conviction, I had got hit with attempted murder, possession of drugs, drug trafficking, and possession of firearms, and I had to do a 10-year prison sentence. And, and I had a three-month-old son at that time, and I said that I need to do something different to be able to combat where I'm at, because I didn't like where I was at. So for it, for everyone that's just now joining us, I am speaking to the Lieutenant Melissa McFadden, and she's here as a, a private citizen, right? Yeah, I'm here as, as a private citizen in my individual capacity. I do not represent the Columbus Division of Police 